probably definitely time for a wash. Okay, so back in 2017, I did a video and a review of the Speed and Strength Rust and Redemption Armored Moto shirt. And I will say that we quickly sold these things out online and well, it's since been discontinued. And honestly, that saddened me because I have thousands of miles on this shirt and a lot of memories in it. Now, admittedly, it's a little tattered and worn these days, and it was time for a replacement. So I set out on a mission to find a comparable riding shirt, like so many of you asked me to do. And I think I finally found it. Yep, here it is. This is the Speed and Strength True Grit Moto shirt. Now, I got to thoroughly test this bad boy on a recent West Coast trip, nine days, 2,500 miles. I got to ride it in a lot of different environments and conditions. That's right, no fluff here. This is a real world biker review and what you need to know if you're thinking about purchasing the Speed and Strength True Grit Moto shirt. Let's dive in. All right, so I've got it on. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'll just let you know I'm less into leather gear and much more into progressive protective riding gear such as the shirt I'm wearing. Now, I like the fact that it's stylish and you really wouldn't know it's a protective motorcycle riding shirt, yet it offers a ton of protection, not only from the elements and riding long distances, but certainly if you were to go down. Now, although the speed and strength True Grit Moto shirt that I'm wearing resembles the older Rust and Redemption, there are some updated features on this one and I'll discuss that in a bit. Now, after testing this shirt, I did bring it right to the Law Abiding Biker store. And if you appreciate this video and all the content we put out to continue our mission to help educate, entertain, and inspire as many bikers as we can worldwide, you can purchase it right from our store. It definitely helps this channel to keep going. Now, if we run out of stock, which I'm sure at some point we will, I'll try to put affiliate links to some other online stores. All right, so let's dive in a little bit deeper to this shirt now. It is a cotton and polyester blend with aramid reinforcements in both the shoulders and the elbows. Let me show you a little closer. All right, so as you can see, this is the shoulder of the shirt, and I'm going to go ahead and flip it inside out for you. And I'll actually remove this armor. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but I want to give you a shot here of the aramid reinforcement in the shoulder area and you see that yellow material behind the mesh liner that's what i'm talking about um, that is the aramid uh, uh, obviously extra protection uh, if you go down and uh, give you some slide protection and that same material is in both elbows all right and continuing on with some of the protection that's baked into this shirt you already saw it, but uh, this is an upgrade from the older rust and redemption which just had ce armor basic they upgraded this shirt um, in the elbows uh, and the shoulders to this ce level 2 armor and of course both shoulders and elbows uh, easily comes out just got a velcro pocket and this is what the uh, ce level 2 armor looks like i'll give you a, a closer shot and you can see it's actually a lot more flexible um, than you would think all right and continuing on with protective armor Baked into the back right here, it is removable and it is a vault CE level one. And I'll take it out to show you. So basically CE level two, shoulders and elbows, and this big piece of armor here, CE level one in the back. And that is what it looks like right there. Offers a lot of protection uh, if you go down. And I will say that uh, I had no problem riding this uh, as far as comfort level thousands of miles and I did ride with all the armor in. All right, so now let's talk about the climates in which this shirt is best suited for. It's not a four season shirt. Number one, it's not waterproof, so it's gonna exclude it from that category. 
in my testing, I found it's good to, uh, starting at about 60 degrees, we rode along the coast in that temperature range and it did very well, all the way to when we moved inland and it was over 100 degrees. Now, as long as you're moving, um, it's not a problem. You can zip it down. It's got a mesh liner that promotes good airflow, wicking some sweat away from you. But of course, if you're gonna stop at a break and it's over 100 degrees, you're gonna to wanna to pop it off or drape it over your shoulders. But again, as soon as you get moving, you're good to go. Also, uh, I suggest uh, a base layer or compression gear. I did test a couple different brands of that during this trip, and I will be reviewing them on this channel. And on a few mornings riding the coast, it was down in the 50s uh, and foggy, so a little bit of moisture, this shirt, probably not suited for that. Uh, you'll want something different. And for this trip, uh, on those mornings, I threw on the Climb Carl's Bad jacket. I will be reviewing this bad boy on this channel for sure. I really like this jacket. So make sure you're subscribed uh, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I come out with all the review videos from this trip. All right, and so another feature I really like about this shirt is the fact that it has a very solid YKK zipper goes all the way up for those colder times, of course. And then, as I stated, you can zip it down uh, during hot conditions, get some of that extra airflow. Additionally, as you can see, I like how stylish it is because it's got these buttons and it really looks like a button up shirt. And yes, you can snap each one of these if you like. I didn't do that. I just like zipping it up and then that overlaps uh, and it looks like a button up shirt. That way I can just unzip it, zip it, take it on and off really easily. And also worth noting is that on each of the buttons uh, embossed is the SNS logo. And they're all black all the way down. And while we're talking about buttons and snaps, this is a key feature on a shirt like this. Each breast pocket here, one on each side, of course, flip up. You do have storage in there. And additionally, the best part is they do snap down uh, so that this is not flapping and uh, hitting you. All right, so just like the breast pocket snaps down so it's not flapping around, I really like the fact that they added this feature and that is a snapping system so you can lock this collar down so it too is not flapping around. All right, so the shirt coming with two buttons, both cuffs, front and a rear one. You can see they're embossed with the SNS logo. Again, they are snaps, making it very convenient if you wanna unsnap it for you guys that like to roll your sleeves up and it certainly makes it very nice when you're taking it on and off to get your wrist through. And also worth noting on the inside is a very nice large storage pocket. And also on both sides, two nice hand warmer pockets. Yes, best part is they both zip up and close so you don't lose stuff going down the road. And just real quick, if you appreciate all the content we put out, you can support us by becoming a patron member. I will link to it in the description below. Of course, there's benefits for signing up, such as t-shirts and stickers. You get access to the private Facebook group, which is a troll-free zone. It really is nothing but bikers helping bikers. It's an amazing group. Access to live video broadcasts and chat, podcasts early, premium videos, and of course, access to those ride events and meetups. And if you're wondering, this shirt is not restrictive in any way. It was definitely made for riding a motorcycle. In fact, uh, when you get it, you'll note the sleeves are just a little bit longer. Um, and that's so when you're reached out onto the handlebars, they're not riding way up on you or anything like that. Definitely go over your gloves. Didn't have any problems there when on the bars. And better yet, you'll see right on the back of the shoulders there, there's built-in gussets. And that keeps this shirt from being restrictive. You can see as I move my arm, there's a whole bunch of fabric there and those gussets allow me to move forward onto the bars uh, without being restricted at all. All right, and another nice safety feature that they baked into this shirt is the fact that they put uh, reflective piping and it runs horizontal all the way across the back here. It can be better seen by motors coming up behind you. And so another nice feature about this jacket, we'll move in here. Uh, to the very bottom of the jacket. And it's got two belt loops. Um, that's nice, you can lock it down to your belt or your pants if you have problems with it flying up. I don't use those, but it is a nice feature. All right, so the shirt coming in one color, which is what you're looking at, the gray and black checker, which is a very neutral color. I do really like it. 
As far as sizing goes, no surprises there, guys. It's standard sizes with chest sizes and things like that. I'm a large, I ordered a large, no problem. Plenty of room to move, especially with those shoulder gussets. Again, the sleeves are gonna be a little bit longer uh, so that when you do reach out to the bars, they're not gonna ride up real high on you. And when you go to the listing in our store, there's an actual size chart there if you do need to measure make sure you get the right size. So as far as durability, I'm very happy with how the shirt is holding up. I'm not noting any breakdowns in the material or seams or stitching. Um, the zippers are working fine. Let me tell you, when you get this in your hands, uh, you're gonna realize uh, what a high quality shirt it is. Beware, there is a lot of knockoff stuff on Amazon. And if you hold them next to each other and actually have them in your hands, you would realize how much more quality this shirt is than those knockoff brands. Just something to be aware of. You get what you pay for. And so at the time of this video, this shirt coming in at $129, I think you get a lot of shirt for that price tag and not something that's gonna break the bank. It's a longer term investment. Like I said, I had my Rust and Redemption since 2017 and still have it. So these things are going to last a lot of years and over thousands of miles and so often on products i will give you some dislikes and sometimes i struggle like on this shirt i really can't find anything uh, without getting super nitpicky but again i'm trying to keep it in perspective for the shirt you're getting for the price that you're getting it for i don't really have any gripes and that was why after rocking this shirt i was like yep we got to bring that bad boy right to the law abiding biker store again links are in the description below all right your journey's not done on the channel i'm popping a couple videos on the screen here for you hopefully something useful or entertaining heck maybe both at any rate when you're done watching videos make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get bikeaholics it's good for the soul